Every smartphone has a camera on it these days. Now that camera may be great, or it may be mediocre. Sometimes it might even be laughable. But what happens once you get the pictures on your smartphone? Most of the time they just sit there. Well, thanks to Android 4.4 KitKat's new photo editor, your pictures not only look good, but you can do all kinds of cool stuff with them. I'm Joe Levi with Pocket Now. Let's go make some pictures beautiful. This is my Nexus 5. It is stock and this is the gallery app. So let's go ahead and open this up. These are pictures that I've mainly taken on other devices. Some of them the Galaxy Nexus, some of them the Nexus 4, but most of them not the Nexus 5. As such, not everything looks as good as it could because they don't have as high end of a camera. That having been said, let's go ahead and open something from summer of last year when we went down to Zion's. And if you'll notice, right down here, I've got some pictures that I'd really like to salvage. It's my daughter, we'll use this one. She's in the shadows right here at the opening to the Narrows. Anybody who's been to Utah has probably been to the Narrows, but not that great. I mean, great picture in the background and a silhouette of her in the foreground. Obviously, not the best framed picture that I could have taken, but what are you going to do in a slot canyon, right? So let's open that up and see what we can do. First of all, we've got all of these cool filters that we can apply. Nothing looks like what I want to do. We can also apply some borders and some uh, overlays and whatnot. Again, not what I'm trying to do. We can crop, straighten, straighten's kind of cool. Obviously still not what I'm trying to do. So I'll X out of that. We can mirror, rotate it, all kinds of cool stuff. What I want to do is over here. Here we can apply auto color, we can apply exposure and adjust that. Let's bump the exposure up a bit. And to see what it's like versus, you know, what you've just done versus the original, just grab over on the side and you can see before and after. Just as easy as that. You can also do that if you're careful off the bottom. Sometimes it's easier than other times to, uh, to do that off the bottom. There we go, off the top. So I like in the background all of the colors, but the shadows are too deep, so this is kind of washed. But you, know, you, can, uh, you can see kind of where we're going with that. Come down there, let's go ahead and accept that for now. What else can we do? Well, let's see if we can play with the contrast a little bit. Can help bring it out a bit. Nothing there I particularly like. Let's look at shadows. And this is where we can do some, some playing around to see if we can help pull that subject out of the shadows. So I like that. It's helping quite a bit. Let's go ahead and uh, look at contrast again in here, see if we can help that. Looks okay. And I'm just messing around in here to see, you know, what we can do. Let's bump the vibrance up a bit so we get some of that color back. Highlights. Nothing that I particularly like there, but, you know, cool effects. And if I don't like something, I can always go back and undo. There's a history that you can use. And this interface looks a little bit different on tablets, though I couldn't make it do this in landscape on the Nexus 5. Uh, this layout is over here on the side, so you may have seen some videos out there that show you uh, kind of what it's, what it's doing, what it's looking like that way. Let's add some structure. That's starting to look a lot better. Come on over in here, and let's focus local area right on her bring the brightness up on her a bit saturation ah, not, we won't mess with that saturation but let's uh, let's go back into local I like bringing that uh, that brightness up a bit just a little bit so there we go lots of neat things like I said you can do in here even messing with the curves this is one of the best overlays that I have seen to, uh, to play with your curves. You can do all kinds of wacky stuff, uh, you know, playing with the colors. Obviously, I'm not going to be doing that here, but you can usually, you know, get a nice little curve like that, and it helps a bit. So we'll say okay there, and I think we're going to call that good. Look at the before. Look at the after. And I'm not a photo editor, guys. Uh, this just took a few minutes, and that looks to me like a much more usable picture than, uh, than what I had before. Of course, your thoughts may vary. Let's go ahead and uh, 
get out of this. So we'll save it. Takes a minute to write the full size. We're going to come over here. This is a picture that I did earlier. This is my sister and my son at her wedding. And I've just applied some of those filters in here to kind of bring her out, blur the background, just a little vignette to, uh, to highlight really what's important in that picture. So that was a look at the photo editor inside the Android 4.4 KitKat Gallery app. There are lots of cool things that you can do with it and all non-destructive. Now, something interesting and unique that's coming up soon, it's Google Plus Photos. Right now, the app on Android is relatively basic and does a lot of the stuff that we just showed you. However, the online version has lots and lots of neat things that it does automatically for you and that you can apply manually. Eventually, we'll see that coming over to our Androids. At least, that's what I hope. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, why not throw us a thumbs up? And of course, follow us on all of your favorite social media networks. Over on Twitter, we're at PocketNow. I'm at Joe Levi. Showing off cool stuff you can do with your Android. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.